All right, so today's gonna be a different type of vlog. I don't have any car stuff going on. Me and my grandma are just gonna go shopping before we go to our trip to the toll. And, uh, you know, I, I may do some junkyard hunting while I'm up here. I was looking on Craigslist a little bit for some stuff, but, uh, you know, it'll be mostly just messing around, so. To get ready to go to the Matol with my grandma and uh, just about to leave the house. So me and my grandma just ate at this place called Granzella's. We've come here a few times throughout the years. They have pancakes and all kinds of just random stuff. And uh, they have like a shop across the street too. But oh, little FC, Survivor. Just stopping in Garberville to get some uh, patrol. And uh, you know, it's kind of a small town, not very much to do. Usually we get gas and eat, but I'm not hungry. So we'll just go over the hill and be there around like six or seven. Yeah. 
came down here to the river to do some swimming, which was nice. Now I'm gonna go back up to the cabin and uh, hang out some. So just walking back to the campsite because I left early, we drove, but uh, you know, getting a little bit late and I wanna take a shower before everybody else does. Don't forget the gate code. Oh, summer. It sounds good right now after what we just experienced, doesn't it? Grilling out, lawns being mowed, and pools opening. These are some of the things we expect with summer. <laughs> So pretty much just walking on the beach. This is the uh, actual lagoon right here. And uh, this is where the river comes in, but it hasn't broken through this year yet. And uh, over there is the ocean. Coming up to the beach and uh, probably not the beach, I'm on the beach, coming up to the ocean. You can see the lagoon, how thin it is separating. Last time I was here, it was just breaking through and it's pretty cool. Look, no, just animal tracks, no human tracks yet. I found a cool red shiny stone. Tight. It's almost like I'm looking for dinosaurs or something. This almost looks like the beach out of Jurassic Park. So I found it. This is where the river or the uh, lagoon is breaking through. So. You can see right here, there's water just constantly just running out of it. And it's because it's running under the sand. And uh, if it gets like enough flow, it'll make a big tunnel. And then if you like step on it accidentally, it'll fall through it. But this looks pretty normal. But I probably should watch out because if the lagoon breaks through and I'm on this side, I have to go all the way up to the road and walk like 20 miles back. The sand feels really squishy, so, I mean, it's a possibility. It literally looks like a tree graveyard over here. There's just a bunch of dead trees that have washed up and are just like stuck on the beach. So I want to check out this rock over here, but uh, I'm in like a sketchy spot because the water will be up to this levee right here. Probably pretty quick, because it's coming in pretty fast. This piece of wood is so smooth. Now for the long walk back. I'm back over here and the water's really starting to flow now. It's actually breaking chunks. So yeah, this is actually pretty interesting. Uh, you know, I've been out here almost since I was, I think since I was 13, so quite a while. And uh, well, not lived out here, but I've come out here every year for the fourth. And uh, you know, the cool thing is it's very remote. I don't think very many people know about it. And that's how the people up here kind of like to keep it. So where I was just flying the drone, it's called Ferndale. It's uh, North California, Northern California, or whatever you want to call it. But uh, it definitely has, uh, you know, it's like an old, like, coastal town. You have some old, like, looking pop-up storefront buildings. Oh, they're testing nuclear siren warning, I think. I love this road that goes in between the towns because it is, uh, well, one thing that's bad about it is they never fix it and it's like a bunch of potholes and uh, that are repaired, but then, uh, you know, some of them aren't actually fixed. And then there's like some spots where the road's washed out because they get a lot of rain during the winter. So it washes the road out. But uh, other than that, I think that if this thing was perfectly paved, it'd be a good like uh, road course almost, like a, like a, like a tarmac rally. 
but uh, since it's like half half washed out, half asphalt, this thing and all the potholes that are like half repaired, this would be an awesome like like dirt like tarmac rally course uh, from point to point. I've always wanted to like have a like fast. Well, before it, I wanted to have like a GTR because it wasn't the road wasn't so bad, but now since since the road is a lot worse. It would be awesome to just be like rally, rally city. So I'm going down the hill. I just came up and started to go back down. This road is so much fun. I just want to come back. I think, I think for like a YouTube video, I want to come back with like a rally car or something quick and just rip it through this section of road because it's just like curvy, windy. It's almost like J turns and all kinds of cool like features in the road. Uh, the road, you can see the condition of it, it is not in that great of condition. Uh, it's definitely in worse condition where I just came from, but uh, you know, I want to rip it so much harder, but you know, I don't want to mess up my grandma's car. So, you know, I'm gonna pull the drone out, do some uh, video in and stuff like that. Randomly, there is this hose over here, just squirting water out of it. It's not very consistent. I'm not exactly sure what it's doing. Here I found me three zebras. Look at these, three zebras. The beat. So this is the end of this video that was my trip. Uh, pretty much a week without uh, videos. I was planning on doing some, but I ended up not having service. The upload speed up there wasn't that great, so I just decided to just hang out for this week and enjoy it. So if you like the video, subscribe, comment below. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.